Welcome back to Sincere Deceit. You might be wondering why we are here, haha. <laughs> I've been looking through the game while I was also farming. Don't worry about the fact that we're level 33 or the fact that we're like nearly 800 on every stat. I'm sorry to spit on that one. But um, we have some secrets with le leaking with it, not leaking, but living within the game itself. And what we're going to do is try and uncover as many as we can. The, each of the bosses throughout the game that we have played against, like each of the district bosses, there are memory fragments of them scattered around the places in which you've encountered these bosses previously. So first we're going to be looking at Malachi of the Residential District. There are three pieces of memory in total and if you collect all three then you'll be able to open up a secret chest in which all of them have within their district. More of those things have been shown up in this district. We are losing too many citizens to these fiends. I know, we're so close to a breakthrough though. Just give Gaius and I a little bit more time, and we should be able to figure things out. I saw a bird leading a group of them. If I can take that one down, maybe then they will retreat? If I do this, will it help in the long run? I know the other districts are suffering too. We all have our hands full trying to stop this. I don't know if they follow anyone other than the Queen, but it's worth a shot. Please, Malachi, we cannot afford to lose you right now. We need someone to fight. So that must be before corruption. Okay, fine. I will do my best to take that bird ghoul down. And when I do, I will mount its head as a warning to all that or we are not to be trifled with. I will make them pay for what they did to Jaden and the rest of our people. Jaden, you say, huh? Funny that you mention that because he also too became a corrupted leader. Right, on to the second location. One of them is in this building, but we're going to do this other building first. And initially, we wasn't able to enter this building. They're saying it was locked or something like that. But now we can. And as you can see, it's just all burnt down and all of its wonders and stuff like that. If you can call it wonders. It's suddenly become dark outside. I think the inside is just so dark it doesn't allow any light to enter. Hmm. But also we can go across this bit of flooring right here. That's meant to be a hole within the floor. There's a hole in the floor. Yes, we get that. Hole in the floor, we get that as well. Go through this way. And I've I've looked around this and I don't think there is anything worth noting aside these but down bookshelves and beds that was a little something wasn't it now uh the stairs are either burnt down or got holes in them definitely got holes in them and this a color of suffering has been found i suppose i suppose you can find these after you defeat the boss themselves in each of their respective districts so what does this one present to us hmm and they may also go in an order as well. Something isn't right. I can feel it. What can you feel? Ah! So this is what it is like to have something wiggling around inside your brain. So the queen itself delivered some kind of power sight onto you then. Abraham, I know you. You didn't intend for this to happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> Really now, I can hear them now. The birds, they are outside now. They're in my head. Yes, I'll gather them here. Let's show these cowering pests who the true ruler is. You and your god let this happen. We will kill you soon enough. So whoever sent these parasites then, I don't know. Oh god, no, that wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. Please don't let, please don't let this happen to me too. Oh no, please make it stop talking. Please make them go away. I don't want to become a monster too. Be a monster. So yeah, it does have some sort of chronological order to these memories. And that was definitely later on from the first one. Now the next one, which is on top of the first building. On the roof. Up here and there we go. Another memory piece. Let's see what this one has to say. The sky is beautiful tonight, is it not? That it is, Malachi. 
Hmm, this might become in between, because he's not yet suffering, it would seem. How long until this place is also swallowed whole? It's hard to say anymore. It could be after, actually. They aren't stopping at all now. It seems she means to bury the zone with the dead. I see. Then we are running out of time. It's why we need you still. I know you don't want to fight anymore, but... Hmm, I understand. I will do my best. Just promise me that we will get through this together. I couldn't bear the thought of losing more lives to these monsters. I will meet you in the chamber then. We will stop them together. Abraham. Thank you for coming here to see me. It means a lot to know that you still care about us. When this is all over, I would like to see Zone 1 again. I will make sure we will get the chance to do that again. All of us will. Yep. Said too late, though. Said too late. And that's all three of them. So let's see what happens. In, uh, near enough, the roof of the second building. Second building, sorry. Over here. Then go through this door. This is where the boss was. But now they're no longer there, which is very, very... Um, what you'd call weird. There are a series of pages on this table. They appear to be out of a diary. Read the pages. I was given this book to write down my thoughts and feelings. Jaden believes it will be a fun exercise for us both. So I will humor him. Well, not weird, but it is... A mystery in itself to uh, go back into a place where we were. Now it's all colorless. I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Malachi, and I am to be so one of yeah. I am to be one of the guardians of our newly born zone. I am here with my friends Jaden, Gaius, Abraham, and Zapiel. Zapiel, I don't talk much to Gaius, and he is always busy. But I get along well enough with both Jaden and Abraham. Zapiel doesn't speak to any of us often. He's such an aloof being. I wish I could be that at peace. I was only a small, consisting only of a tiny island in the middle of a sea, split between meat and plastic. It is cosy, but we hope to build it into, up into something wonderful in due time. For now, we only have a couple buildings that we are using for our own lodgings. But soon we will build homes for the souls we hope to pull from the nothingness. Our leaders have said this zone is not only our safe haven, but also the safe haven for all those who wish to enter. It will become home to them, and we shall be welcome them with open arms. Keep reading. It's been years since I last touched this journal. We have made steady progress in building up the city of Abrelia. Abrella. My district sits to the south of our starting point, which has become the centre of the now massive city. I decided that I would take care of a residential aspect of the duties given to us. Being able to provide a place for our people to stay is most important to me. While Jaden provides wholesome fun to the masses and Gaius gives everyone jobs, I decided I wanted nothing more than to give them a place of comfort and safety. Abram says it reminds him of someone he once knew long ago, but he never elaborates on who this person was. Maybe one day we'll be able to speak about such things. I hope he opens up to us more so that we can become even better friends. Jade and I have been spending more time together. He's a good friend and enjoys showing me the attractions he has created for our citizens. It always puts a smile on my face. At first he was worried that things wouldn't work out. But he has since come out of his shell and really opened up to me. I never thought I would find someone who could make me laugh like he does. He has quickly become my best friend. And I will do anything to ensure that he remains happy. Anything? Even if it means self-sacrifice in the end. Many years have passed, not by your choice, but by a parasite's choice. And I have discovered this journal once more. I need to stop forgetting about its existence. Maybe it would help if I stopped misplacing it. Things have changed since I last wrote. Our once peaceful zone has been attacked by a malicious outside force. It appears the queen of our world is alive. And she means to destroy us. The ectoplasmic force she has sent out is slowly chipping away at our defences. If something isn't done soon, we will all perish. 
What does she mean to do this to us, though? What have we done wrong? Abraham and Gaius are currently deciding on the best course of action, while Jaden and I have been fighting back. I just hope they figure something out soon before more of our people die. Keep reading. Today has been well, today has been one of the worst days of my life. I let Jaden be attacked by one of those things, and now I fear he will never be the same again. One of Gaius's assistants came to me and spoke of a spectre attacking and nearly killing my best friend. Why Gaius himself didn't come still angers me. Is he too busy to tell his friend about this? The blank took his limbs and eye, and since then he no longer resembles the man I once knew. Gone is his charming smile and sense of humour. Now all that remains is a husk. Yeah, that's what he talked about when just before he died. It's about that kind of um, detachment that he had from all of his friends because he was trying to control the being that was oversorting the land. How could I let this happen to him? While I was fighting against one of the flying beasts in my district, I let him get hurt. Now he will never be the same again. I failed him. This war has slowly eaten away at all of us. I have continued to fight as much as I can, but the others have locked themselves away. Am I the only one left who believes we can win? Jaden has gotten worse since I last saw him. He's acted completely differently, so completely different from the shy person he used to be. There's a bitterness about him that makes me think he hates me now. I found him hiding away in a small room amongst the stories we read together, clutching the toy cat. I had given so I had given him some so long ago. He lashed out at me one final time, and I haven't seen him since. What has happened to a friend I once knew? If only I was there to help him when he needed me the most. I could have stopped all of this. I could have prevented all of this pain and heartache. You couldn't predict these kind of things, man. Abraham has vanished. We don't know what happened. Zakaia won't tell us what went on in the tower. But now I can feel that something bad is about to happen. Is the tower also referring to the prison, I, the prison district? There is something pulling at my mind. It's a quiet sound, like a bird chirping in the distance. Could it be the head I kept as a trophy? It's such nonsense. But as time went on, the sound has gotten louder and louder. I think it wants me to do something. Maybe if I do, then this constant noise would stop. Birds have come here since I started wearing the head of their master. Now I am their new master. They never stop talking, never stop staring at me, judging me for all of my mistakes. They tell me it's my fault Jaden is broken. That's because you had those thoughts in the process. First place. And because of that, those negativity emotions kept spiraling out of control. Because that's what these demons want, is to target your emotional weaknesses. It's my fault. I wasn't strong enough to stop the Spectras. My fault Abraham has gone and the world has been consumed by rot. I don't need anyone anymore. I just want to be left alone so I can look up the stars. We have anything left that makes me feel at ease. To hell with everyone else. To hell with his zone. If anyone dares to come up here, I will kill them and let the birds feast on their corpse. They deserve it. Every last one of them deserve to pay for their sins. I hope the rock consumes every last one of them. And when it does, I will finally have revenge. This body will do for now until I can shape it into a more fitting form. Until then, I will look down upon the suffering of man and smile. I shall arise from the ashes once more when the time is right. You think you're some sort of phoenix? We don't need any of them anymore. That was a horrific backstory to Malachi. It looks like some kind of strange bed. <clears throat> My voice. And you. Master Malachi is gone now. All the other birds have left, but I shall stay. They fear for the end of the world, but I know there is no escaping one's purpose. I am content with it all. I shall wait for the sun to go out. Perhaps when all is said and done, we will meet both Master Malachi and Master Jappet in the afterlife. Master Japlin must have been your previous master then. The books on the shelf have all been wiped clean. Wow. And a table. And also a pattern on the floor there. But then again, there's also this. A supreme aerial has been found. What on earth is one of these, actually? Um, what is a supreme aerial? I'm not gonna lie. Uh, supreme aerial. There you are. Mm, a bizarre object 
associated with the sky. We could be needing like four of these considering the prison district is its own one and we need to fight the boss of it eventually. Something happens when you try and go in here. It's not relating to the um, uh, memories. I just thought I'd show it because it's something I looked around and discovered when I was trying to go about these kind of things. I'm thinking, let's go in here and see what's up. Nah. Nothing in there, and you can't exactly go back as well, you're actually locked into that room. And unfortunately you're facing your demise that way. Anyways, let's move on. Ah, oh, I don't think I've been here before. Hello, a lot of strange people have been turning up lately, but I guess it is too it can be expected. I mean, I came here at some point, so it makes sense more people would follow. Yep, this is a comforting place. That guy over there is kind of weird, but he seems nice enough. This one here? Oh, hello there. Are you this game's better? For for breaking, aren't you? I am. Who are you? My name is Caesar. I'm just a guy that likes to wander around. I came here recently in search of some stuff to take back home. I found a few things, but now I am taking a break. Say, you look pretty strong. What do you say to a friendly battle? I could use some practice. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, oh, that good. I was hoping you would say that. Don't hold back now. I know I won't. All right, then. We won't hold back, big old bird. And go down, bird. <laughs> Had about 2,000 HP there. That was a great battle. I guess I need to do some more training before I can hope to beat someone like you. You're going to need a lot of training. Oh, well. It was fun. Hope you take care, batter. Go purify some specials for me. And... Aside from the big amount of experience and credits, I... Give him a piece of silver flesh. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that for him. Uh, exploration, cool. Lovely. Right. While well, I was also searching around these parts for memories, I also remembered a place where you can get an item called a horseshoe key. And what that does is it allows you to access an area in zone... Sorry, not zone 2, but the entertainment district, which then you can fight a horse boss. And then from there it says meet you in the factory and all that. But I'm still trying to fathom out whereabouts that is within here. I can't remember when I initially discovered it. Like it could be like where the first memory is sort of thing. This. And then two luck tickets. Silver flesh. Just that. <laughs> I wonder why that floor was weird. The reason why we can't find the horseshoe key in uh, the residential district is because it's within the entertainment district. But I believe that's where you need the cavern key in order to access the horseshoe key initially. So, okay, let's open that up and then open this up over here. And then when we go into here, oh, we still got it. <laughs> I, I remember not being able to access this part in the last time around. A silver horseshoe key has been found. Not necessary for memories, but of course it is good for um, being able to access the next part of this video. Let's look at Tuesday first to see what it does. Equipment that reduces the consumption of CP. That's brilliant. Although, if technically were to speak, if you got everyone's stats to 999 regardless of your um, weapons and equipment that you put on, then I think the best thing that you would equip is either the one that prevents critical hits or the one that reduces consumption. But since you would have so much CP, why would you want to reduce your consumption when you have so much consumption to begin with? So therefore, I would think that the other one, the one for uh, preventing critical hits, is the best way forward. Just just me personally. That is it. And there we go. Use the horseshoe key on that. And... Hello there, horsey. Oh, <laughs> I thought this could be one of the ones on the carousel there. <laughs> Hello there, what is your name? I am the batter. Who are you? My name is Macy. It is so nice to meet someone new. I've been locked up here for a long time. Would you like to play a game with me? Not particularly. We could ride the carousel together, or maybe go on one of the other rides. No, I do not have time for this. I must purify this district, which I've already done. Oh, that's a shame. Then perhaps we can play a different game instead. Hmm, with that emoji going on here. These are my friends. 
but don't talk much, but they like to play. I know the perfect game we can all play together. You know, like you would enjoy it. Let's have some fun with another emoji. Hey, and it's all red. Thanks for that, but just like the rest, you're going to be annihilated from reality. I've discovered throughout time that you could level up so much that even though you raise your agility so much, it doesn't look like it's going up any faster, but what the game does, it, it allows the um, the enemies to take a longer amount of time to compensate, because that bar can only go up so fast. Oh, those were my only friends. It doesn't matter. We should play again sometime. I'm going back home. My owner must be worried sick about me. Come find us at the factory. I'm sure we can think of an even better game to play. Goodbye for now. You wink at me. <laughs> twelve, twelve orbs have been found. Um, what kind of orbs? Oh, two of each actually. Let's see now. We're gonna put them all aside, spirit, on um the batter because why not? Uh, which one's that? Gemini. Cool. Uh, Capricorn. I'm gonna put you on you actually because you have the least amount of spirit. Also, looking at their um, statuses, we've got the Saviour, well, sorry, Saviour, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, you, by default, you'd think that means High Spirit, but no Holy Spirit. <laughs> now, let's look for some memories within this district and see what we can uncover about Jaden. First one we can find is below the cafe, and I believe all of these memories can only be accessed, and most definitely is only accessible, we defeated the boss of that district. So in here we have ourselves a memory. Let's see what Jaden has to unearth or what we unearth of Jaden. Let's see. What are you doing here? How did you even know I was here? Get out. I had a feeling you would be somewhere in this district. I just listened for your crying. <laughs> so this is between Malachi and Jaden. You should just leave. I don't want to hurt you like I did the others. What are you talking about? You haven't hurt anyone, Jaden. Come on, let's just go back to the hospital. You still need time to heal. No, you don't understand. There's a monster inside me. And it is talking, sorry, taking so much out of me. Just keep it from killing you. Oh, just to keep it from killing you. You need to leave before I lose myself again. I have to stay here now because it's eaten away at me. I don't know how much longer I will be able to do this. Jaden, look. If there's something inside you, the doctors can get it out. Even Gaius might be able to do it. If they can't, it will be okay. It will, okay? I can't just force it out. It's a part of me now. It's part of my DNA. If I removed it, then it would just hurt someone else. So it's better it stays in me. How selfless that is. That's enough nonsense. I'm taking you back to your room. You're delusional from losing so much blood. That has to be it. That is not it. Just go away, Malachi. Looking at all your little imperfections is making that thing tear me apart further. Let go of me. I said, let go! Ouch. Don't come back. I can't bear to look at your sad face anymore. If that's what you want, then fine. I'll leave you to whatever it is that you cooked up inside that sick mind of yours. When you're ready to actually fix things, come find me. Until then, stay here and rot for like... Wow, Malachi. Some saviour you is. And that certainly is coming to contact with Jaden. I wish I was dead. But he won't even give me that. I guess I deserve this after fall. So things start off pretty bad. Unless all these memories have a set order. Zone, rather than you go to one memory. You start off at the earliest point in time. And then go from there to the next point in time. And etc. Next one is at the theatre, and this one involves an area which we thought we could go through before, but when we got to the end of either of these two paths, the curtains were closed, but now the curtains are open. And in here we have, we have a box with Patelia and Medora, Epidemus. And then there's this memory too. So then, what is this bit of memory going to unearth for us? You do not understand, Abraham. This place was my pride and joy. I believe everyone has come in contact with this, Abraham. Now look at the state of it. Look at me. That thing nearly killed me. I lost so much, and now I can't even keep things together anymore. 
You don't know what it is like to not be able to walk, Abraham. No, not that you care anymore. Why do you even bother to come to see me? I do care, Jaden. Why else would I be here trying to get you to come back? Malachi is worried sick about you, but you refuse to leave this district. What are you running from? Well, you, Jane has said he couldn't walk, so he can't exactly run, but mentally he is running. I'm not cut out to be a guardian. I'm not a warrior. If this whole mess is any example of that, just leave me be. I know you lost much because of the test, but we can work on repairing the damage that was done. It wasn't a complete loss, was it? Your competence is astounding now. You and Malachi could work together and push him back. He has a body. But you have the mind. That's just as powerful, if not more. Brawn and brain. Mind and matter. But, just go away. I don't need your help. I don't need anyone's help. Oh, pity. I can't run my district like this. So go find someone else to do it. Jaden, you're the only one who can do this. That's what you were made to do. You can't just hide in the dark while the world dies like this. Abram must be the head of the prison district. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before throwing us at these monsters. Do your own dirty work, you coward. Leave me alone to rot like he did. Wow. So, Abraham is being thrown suspect here because of his involvement somehow of getting everyone to fight back against, against the Spectres, but involving the leaders of each district so that they would have the best chance of going up against the Spectres and winning, but somehow not being able to um, succeed in that matter. Okay, the last one is in the Fun House. And I choose this one to be the last because it is nearest to where... No, I say it's where, but it is nearest to um, where the greyed-out greyed room is, if I can speak properly. So, this room was not here before. There is a painting here. It is titled Malachi the Caretaker. And there's a portrait of him pre-corruption, I imagine. Jaden the Entertainer. Again, before pre-corruption. Well, pre-corruption. And Guys the Architect. Again, pre-corruption. I don't know why I thought that um, there was like Mr. Gaius' father in there, which he's not even a character. The prototype. So I wonder who this character is. It could even be the batter post-corruption. Hmm. Looks like a painting used to be here. It's gone now. Or it never was there to begin with. Okay, so the last memory is within here. Notes about exorcism and placing souls into new vessels. This one over here. There are notes and complicated diagrams about making puppets here. And there is a list of materials needed for making puppets here. It's a normal mannequin. So we've got here the third and last piece of the memories in order to collect that chest. I know, I saw him. You think I didn't see him come here? Nothing escapes my eyes. Our eyes. I never saw anyone like that before. He is perfect. I... I need to have him. You're talking about a batter? Of course I know that, you stupid brute. I know we could use him to stop this body from decaying like it is. He should have more than enough life force to keep us going for a long time. Just let me play with him a little bit. Okay? I haven't had a company in so long. He would make such a great companion to drawn out the silence of this place. Drown out. Please just let me have this one thing. You took every ounce from me. Please. Please just let me enjoy this before I completely fall apart at the stems. So that was definitely um, before Jaden saw... The batter come into play for the first time. Ever seen this part? Or maybe I have. No, I definitely have. And going past here. Yep, there's a purple block. And this is the empty room. A supreme mirage has been found. A befitting name for a person like Jaden. Hmm. Empty portrait. It could be filled later on, I don't know. But that is the second of four Guardian Memories. I imagine the fourth is definitely the Prison District. But for now we can only do three because we've only unlocked or done three districts. 
So off to the factory we go for the horses and the memories. Hello you, what are you doing here? Back alley, are you looking for some sugar? I have some for sale. I quasi stuff. Do you want to buy some for 2,000 credits? Yeah, why not? Good, good, here you go. A bag of sugar has been found. I have nothing else to sell. You bought my last bag, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this seems like a reference to any other kind of back alley sales. Anything related to drugs. All of the memories are based within the factory, so there's no need to look at the mines or the orchard or the farmsteads in the fishery. Both of those areas are severely restricted towards where you can walk post boss of this district. So I don't know if the horses reside around here because I have no idea where the horses would be considering I haven't got to the point in the game world here to discover where they are. So it's either I find the memory first or find the horses first. It's either way. Both the first and second memories you can find, or just two out of three, are quite near each other. One of them is within Mr. Guy's secret, secret office, and the next one will be just below the cafeteria. But let's look at this for a moment. Let's see what Mr. Gaius has to offer in his um, hibernation from the others. Sir, are you okay? You haven't left your room in a long time. Everyone is worried about you. This must be Mr. Roland. Hmm... She's gone, Roland. <laughs> Confirmation. She's gone and it's my fault. No, Mr. Gaius, you know that isn't true. None of us knew that the special would break out like that. It was supposed to be docile, but don't give her that BS. Every experiment we have done in the past few months have failed. Every study and test I have authorized has led to someone dying. First Nathan, then Rosemary, and now Margaret. Don't you see what's happening? I'm cursed. All of the Guardians are. It's just like what happened before, and we can't stop it. What do you mean by what happened before? None of us can stop what has been set into motion now. And Jaden, that fiend is still inside him. Malachi can't find what happened, or else he would be f he will further the curse. He cannot know what we did in that room. What are you talking about, S sir? I never took you a son to believe in curses. I think your grief is making you say and think these things. Mr. Jaden is currently at the hospital and is healing. We're collecting him once we're able to. And Mr. Malachi will be given a story to satisfy his urge to kill the Spectras. Everything is going to be fine, sir. You just need time to heal from this. I'll take my leave so you can rest. Damn, there we can- Roland, wait! Please don't leave me here alone. I can't take it anymore. The size is deafening me. Of course, Mr. Gaius. I won't ever leave. I need to find a way to bring him back. There has to be a way. I know it. I, I can fix things. I know I could do it. I just need more time before death shows up. I can fix it. Yes. Hmm. The dead should be left to rest, sir. Indeed, they should. Or else you will always feel that pain time and time again because you can't... Uh, Accept the fact that somebody has passed away. There's one line of text on the screen. It reads, Thank you. Thank you to you too, Mr. Gaius. You're the only guardian of this district that knows the way forward. The others, they've all been plagued. But you, you resisted the plague to a point where you won't actually be cursed by it and try to fight us. It was a mechanization form of you that fought us, not you personally. Right, so when we find the cafeteria of this place, we'll be able to know where the next one is. And here it is. So we need to go down here, and then I would believe it is down here, and then just go directly south, and you'll be able to get to another memory piece. Over here... And then across this way, and voila, there it is. I don't think you can get through here. You don't need to go back in there. Okay, cool. So, the second memory piece. The other one is where the tree boss is in floor B3. So, the results of... Or sorry, for the Astrium mainframe project has come back. It seems he's been able to sync up to the factory's terminals. But his core temperature can't handle the stress. We haven't found a way to keep him sufficiently cooled off while he is running everything at once. I'm sorry, sir. 
as I thought. It's too much pressure for a primitive ghoul to handle. This information would be useful for the future, though. S sir What are you thinking, Mr. Gaius? Roland, I have a plan. I need you to keep this between us, but I might have a way to keep this factory up and running for years to come. I just need a little more little bit more time. Hopefully this body can hold out long enough until then. I can't afford to cut off anything else. Sir, you're rambling again. What are you talking about? You can't cut off anything else without dying. We'll just continue the study and come up with something better. Hmm. Indeed we will, Roland. I'm not going to let myself be used as a pawn in this game anymore. I won't let either of them take me now. Mr. Gaius, I worry for you. Maybe it's time to sleep. Soon. Very soon. But not soon enough to go to sleep. Right. B3 floor it is. This place. And here is the third memory piece of Gaius. Whichever order it goes in chronologically. This. Curse Fane. All it does is stare at me with that mocking look. Do you think all of this is funny? Are we just playthings to you now? I was a fool to trust you. I can't believe I'll let myself sink so low as to believe in divine retribution. Hmm. If you are such a benevolent god, where were you when we needed you the most? Why didn't you stop the Spectrus? Why didn't you stop him? Why did you let everyone die or be afflicted by this plague? How can you call yourself a god when you can't even help protect those you say you love? Oh dear. Why did I expect you to respond when I needed you the most? I should have never put my faith in you. So that was a solitary one, just like Jaden's final one. I think all of Malacha's ones were um, with somebody else at the time. So two of Mr. Roland's, sorry, Mr. Geyser's ones were with Mr. Roland. But now within this district, we need to find a horse. No, I've excavated every single part of the accessible area of the factory district and there is no sign of a horse. The one that came from the wonderful circus. And now what we need to do is just commence with where we left off last time, which was within our own dream. No matter how much I farm, it's not going to be able to prepare us for what's going to be laying here with these folks. You say that now. You just hate us for who we are, don't you? So yeah, this is really where we should have started off the episode, but nah! I'm a bit more of a side quest guy, you know? Right, mannequin, 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 mannequin. Okay, there we've got a door between a blue and a red path, laying in white. Let's go through here then. Ah, blue! Hello there. You are not permitted to access to this most private of spaces. Only those who know the truth shall be able to come inside. Okay. I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that I could not have been able to defeat the boss from the last time around. Time is running out, Abraham. The clock stopped ticking long ago, Zekael. You are running out of pieces. You should give up now. Is this just a game of chess to you? As are you. We are evenly matched in every way. We are not the same, you and I. I refuse to believe such a thing from the mouth of the servant himself. Think what you will. It won't change the fact that the god killer is coming. He is near now. Can you not feel the fear inside you? I do not fear death. I will prove to you once and for all that I am the most I am the rightful ruler of this world. I won't meet the same fate my predecessor did. I have the peace in place to take the queen from you. Your plague won't stop me. I will wipe it all clean once again. It will be right this time. You haven't changed at all. I guess in the end we'll see what they choose to accept as the truth. Hmm. Enough of this nonsense. They have to move from he on from here. I've made sure to send someone to meet them at their next destination. 
I can't have all my work go to waste due to a king being locked away. This is definitely what you'd call a chess game, isn't it? And the queen is obviously the most powerful piece on the board. I've grown tired of this game. Just let it die like it should have all those years ago. So the batter is only- WAKE UP! Huh? Well, hi. Finally, I was starting to think they actually killed you this time. You know, I figured you were smart enough to not fall for the same trick twice, but here you are. That takes a certain kind of stupid to accomplish, or maybe you're just careless. Whatever it is, you aren't going anywhere anytime soon. We don't need you wandering around and sabotaging our plans. It won't be much longer now, so get comfy. We'll be back when we find a good use for you. Maybe as target practice. Ready now, fool. We'll find a way out of here. It seems the mighty Purify and his omnipotent players landed in a rather sticky situation. We had a hunch you would run into trouble here. Something told us it would be so. We take it Master Zachary sent you here. Yes, as expected. Since this is the logical step towards the proverbial ending, can you open the door? Unfortunately not. We are far too small and lack opposal funds. Oh, but there. Jiracho has come to rescue Boss Peaceful Man. <laughs> Thank you, man. Quite. Yes, our brother here shall be able to assist in getting you out of that dingy cell. We can sense that your players had recent connections with him. So it should be in theory easy to control him once more. <laughs> now then, player. Whenever you are ready, simply press on your magical keys and take control over my dearest brother here. How dare you break the fourth wall there. Okay, so that dream was really interesting. Like, we couldn't have been able to, um... It seems to have worked. We should, we couldn't have been able to go through that path then, the one in blue. So there was a pre-requirement that I needed to do, in which I didn't uh, perform. This one also sees that you retain inventory and credit information. The player's powers know no bounds. How mysterious. Nah, it's just simple for the game to remember if it's just transferred from one player to another. Jiraja doesn't understand what Jaska means, but this one will get Baseball Man out of his cage. Good luck, brother. Try not to let yourself get killed. Hmm. This one can't open the door this way. It is locked. Have you tried ramming into it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. No, no, don't do that. We were only joking. Just find a way to get the door open. You've suffered enough head injury for one day, brother. So he was, he was trying to say something, but it was cut off. How are you long, dear brother? The batter and I shall stay here. <laughs> yeah, the batter will stay here, for goodness sakes. He has no option but to stay here. Jerusha will find a way to get the door open for Baseball Man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay then, healing process is unable to be used at this time, but we shall save nonetheless the beginning. Oh well, we'll do what needs to be done. Jorocha thinks he can bash his door open. And hello. And can't do that one, but yet there is a man in there. Jorocha thinks he can bash his door open. Stop with the head bashing, man. Okay, so we can't... Well, let's just head bash these open anyways. There we go. And... There. Good. Uh, he's even leveled up as well. That's nice. That's good. That is... That is good. And we have the objects from... Our possession absolutely high. Let's just sneak past. You're going to tell me what you lot are up to. We know about the scrap metal you've been stealing from the workshop. So either tell me, I will call in the snakes to make a meal out of you. I have nothing to say to the likes of you. You don't control us. Do you think your lady actually cares about you? The only thing she cares about is saving her own skin. She won't miss a grunt like you. Now tell me what you're doing before I make this difficult for you. Those people are fighting. Jurecho wants to join you too. What the hell? You're not one of our mutts. Get out of here. This one thinks you look like a nice snack. Are you frightening me? I'll teach you, mutt. You have no idea who you're messing with. Oh, really now? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You certainly have transformed into something bad. Alright. 
tear down your meat resistance. There we go. Adversary is purified. 600 experience. Melodious meat received. And how could I lose to a mongrel like you? Well, who turns out to be the mongrel now? You is. Hello. Thanks for taking care of that guard. But now that you're going to put them on eye alert, what do you even want? Jirojo wants to get Baseball Man out of his cell. But what? Oh, you talk about the scrawny guy in, th in room 3? Just leave it be, Matt. No, Jirojo wants to get Baseball Man out now. Okay, okay, stop shouting. You're going to attract the attention of the snakes. Damn, since you helped out, I guess I can help you out. Go into the right hall of this floor. You should come across some rooms with switches in them. You can flip any of the switches if you want. But room 3 is the one you're looking for. Okay, so... Oh, thank you, nice lady. Whatever. I'm, uh, I'm leaving before I get tangled into whatever mess you're going to cause. Just watch out for any more guards or snakes. Snakes, you say? Okay. So, hello. I would advise against doing anything risky while the snakes are around. They will notify the guards. Well, we should take care of the snakes then. Some of us are allowed to walk outside ourselves. It depends on the offense we committed outside of a prison. And you... You don't look like one of the guards. Mutz, what do you want? This one's trying to help Baseball Man out. Oh, okay. I don't know about that, but I can help in other ways. See, I get a hold of certain goods, and I'm willing to trade what I have for any tickets you might have. The higher quality of a ticket, the better product I can give you. No credit, so. They are worthless in here. Just bring me some good stock I can resell or use. So, do you want to trade? I'll trade, I'll trade. How many possible ability tickets do I have? Oh, by the way, if you find any bottles of snake venom alcohol, give them to me. I'll give you some better stock for any bottle you find. Okay. That is good. Uh, okay, we've got 25 prosperity tickets. Let's see. Uh, I want to trade pros... I don't have snake venom alcohol. Um, I have a don's meat. One piece for every bottle you find. None. I've not got any snake venom alcohol. I want... Why would we want a play bad eyes meat, for goodness sakes? Um... Whatever, King. Four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just did that. Uh... Okay, so revives and fully restores HP. So that's a good one. Hmm... I'll trade more kings. So we're down to 17, Ben? Yeah, down to 17 and up to 15 on kings. Go away, mud. I don't want to be part of whatever you're doing. I ain't losing my skin just yet. But you were about to lose your skin when that guard came along your way. Oh, they're the snakes. They're the slippery snakes. Slippery snakes. Dredge can't open this door, it's stuck. Um, well, I could just take care of the snakes, you know. I mean, they can't exactly do anything to me if, and I say this if, I should manage to do so. Hello. Shove off, Mutt. Well, it's time for you to die, along with your snakes. The more you use passion for violence, the more damage it actually does over time, because it keeps reducing the uh, foe's meat resistance. There we go. That's you down, along with your snakes. 2100 experience points gained. A lot of golden flesh is good. Blah. The lights. What about the lights? Hmm. You can't fight them. I see. Oh, they probably just alert the guard if there's any guards in the room. Can't get past here, so goes on the other side. Okay. Alright, then I guess we'll go elsewhere, then if this is not where we need to go. Can't find the snake. So, can't fight the snakes. Get out of the way, snake. Thank you, snake, for not being in the way anymore, snake. Right, this room up here, then. Oh, hi there. No one is allowed past this point. Alright, then. Then it's time for you to meet your maker. Apparently, this mutt is your maker that and then uh, how dare you cast venom on me right venom actually decreases my cp if i remember correctly yeah it definitely does i think it's a certain amount like a certain percentage amount 
certain percentage amount. There we go. And then do that upon you. And then do another one. Yep, that's all gone. That's fine, though. We should be able to take this thing out soon. Good. There we go. That's a good one. That's a big good one. That's a real big good one. Entry is forbidden. Well, unfortunately for you, your time here, everywhere, in existence, is forbidden. I'm glad we got some, um... Uh, which one's... I'm glad we got a lot of these, actually. There's, like, a water area in the residential district where, for me, it was just... If you encounter a monster, it's free Camaras meets. Like, in every battle, so at least one of them. At least one of the ghouls would provide you something. Right. Yeah, Paladin Flesh. The other one's just restored by 100 at the very most. At the very most. Oh! Andrew, get out of here, mutt. This one needs to use a switch. Use a... Oh, I see what you're up to. You ain't doing anything. Die, mutt. Now we're gonna fight all of these. And you brought along your own... Along your own, mutt. Oh. Zero? What the hell? 82. 95. I'm pretty sure we're not meant to fight this thing. We could just fight the man who is controlling the mutt. No, wrong target. You. There you go. Take some health. Yeah, this one seems highly resistant to meat attack. I'm not gonna lie. Special attack. What about just a default attack? Oh, but default attack does more. Wow, I didn't even would know to that. A default attack does more than an attack using competence. That's a first for me, Chief. But you know what? That is a method in itself. How? I don't know how. Jirocha can pull with switch. I know we need three. Jirocha can see a hole in the wall. This one can push the table through. Push the table through! And Jirocha can go through now. And... This one must be number two. Yeah, it definitely was number two because that... Uh, Jirocha can't open this door slot. Ah, I'm glad we went through there, Ben. Hello! You're not supposed to be in here. And what are you going to do about it, Ben, huh? That's why four. Nothing. And there you go. You two-headed beast. Along with the other headed beast. It's inside the walls. What's inside the walls, my man? What's inside the walls? Georgia can't open it. Oh, okay, so we have to look through. Something is blocking it. So we have to go elsewhere, then. We'll have to go elsewhere in order to try and find a way in there. Uh, doesn't want to go downstairs. Was needs to save baseball, man. It's stuck. Right, what can we do then if we can't go anywhere else in this place? Uh, oh, we need to go to number one actually because that's opened up now. Uh, two pieces of balized meat have been found. Okay, but what does that do for us? Oh yeah, this one's also open because we opened number two. A dummy spectra has been found. A temporary spectra is here. Uh, not that one. Oh, dearie me. What do we do in a place like... Yeah, the snakes don't really do anything. I'm not going to lie. I don't think there's anything else to the left which we could have done. So the only thing we could do is to the other side. Hmm. I wonder if it's like a pulley system in there where you uh, try and get one of them out. And then when you pushed it through... So it's on the other side. Then um, we won't be able to actually use the other one until we pull it back, sort of thing. A whole key has been found. Lovely. We can use this whole key for something. But he doesn't know how to use keys, am I right? Hmm. Oh, George can use the key to open the door instead of breaking it. Oh, yeah. This one sees a vent that George can jump into. Okay, we'll jump into the vent before um, sneaking the switch on. Because I suppose that's how the story progresses onwards. And then jump. And... Jojo doesn't like it. Okay. <laughs> we'll pull that switch, Ben. Um, okay, but... Oh, so that's what's blocking the door. Okay. We'll jump back into the vent and then pull the switch. Which means we open both... Excuse me? 
Oh, <laughs> that weird thing fell down this hole. Jorosha doesn't care so much about it. That's fine. I'm glad it fell down in that hole. I'm glad we pulled the switch as well. Right, we pulled that switch. Excellent. We should have our character free now from his prison. And hopefully we'll be able to progress with the story. We're here. You're back. And the door's finally open. Hurry up and speak with our grumpy sportsman. <laughs> grumpy. Thank you, Flip List. We need to find my equipment before we can purify this district. We should have a look around this place. This will continue to help Baseball Man until he gets his veins back. Thank you very much. Oh my god, we're so far below what we should be. Great. Lovely. Fantastic. Awesome. We... Yeah, all of the above. <laughs> So I think we should avoid interacting with the snakes while we are the batter. Like it's okay with Jericho, but not as the batter. Right. This door's locked tight. And this way. There's a post on the wall here. Look at the notes. Are you content to what? No, I'm not content in this prison. Hmm. I feel like going down here is a death sentence in a way. Let's see. I'm sick of being here. Either just let me out or kill me already. I'm tired of all of this. And you? Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to anyone. Okay. And you? I hope we get let out soon. I haven't eaten in two days. I haven't got my equipment back. You think you have issues? I've got stuff. But I want to get back. I hope the lady succeeds. If a large enough, if a large enough group of us can get our hands on some weapons, we can escape from this hellish place. Hope that day's come soon. We're probably in an equivalent place of Alcatraz. Where it would be like, we can't escape this island of hell. Honestly, I think the only reason the warden hasn't killed the lady yet is because he's attached to her. Why else would he let her wander around and act like she owns a the place? There has to be a reason. Yeah. I heard rumors that there's something below this prison that is used to turn people to monsters. Do you think that's why people disappear and more spectres appear in their place? No idea, man. No idea. Give a head away from me. Oh, I'll get a head away of you. Most of the people I speak to haven't committed a crime. Just like they're just kidnapping people off the streets and throw them in here. Why aren't the other guardians stopping this from happening? Do we really not care about us? They do care. They're just unable to reach for you. Hello, snake. And you. What are you staring at? When I get out of here, you're dead. Alright, you stay in there then, fool. I see them drag people down those stairs almost every night. They never come back up. It'll be my turn one day. I just hope it's a quick diff. I'm pretty sure it must be. Those blasted snakes are everywhere. You can't do anything about them watched, being watched by at least two of the damn things. Yeah, the snakes are something. It's cramped and humid in here. I can barely stand it. Nobody is coming here to relinquish you of your worries. I've never seen the warden myself, but I've heard he's terrified to look at. Only a monster could run a place like this. Indeed. Which must mean they are a monster. But guards' barracks are down the stairs. Some of us are tasked with making weapons and supplies for them. Months ago, someone tried to use a spear to escape, but we shot him dead. Since then, no one has tried anything funny. Stop. Oh. Shouldn't go into... There? Okay. Well, there they are. Hi. Screw off. This section is off limits unless you have an authorization of a high ranking officer. Fine. The snakes won't stop staring. They won't go away. They want to eat me. Huh? Huh? What? No. Do not like the slime then. Life is miserable here. If you aren't taken away, you either starve or get mauled by a loose spectra. Fine then. And it's best if you stay in there, mate. You don't want to be eaten up by the ghouls, do you, the spitch wars? I've been trying to make a slight that. Save it for the past couple of weeks, don't worry about it. It's not for someone else. Really? Really now, huh? Hmm, no. I'm waiting to be let out. It should be my turn to head into the quarry soon. How many years has it been since I was thrown in here? I lost count of for days. Too many days have passed. More days than I can count on my fingers. They come at night and take some of us away. 
those who leave are never seen again. I want to hope that they are being let out, but I doubt that is the case. Once you're in, you're here for life. No. I'm not trying to go in there then. The lady plans to free us, but I'm afraid to believe in her. I've been here so long that I don't think I'll ever get out again. Who is exactly the lady, you say? And why is it always a female that has to manipulate the male? Hi. What are you looking at? Get away from me. Alright, leave me be. With the snakes around, we barely have to do anything. The prisoners are scared stiff by them. Makes our job so much easier. Okay. There's a post on the wall. What side of the bars? Hmm. You always want to be on the side where you can see the sun again. What are you doing outside your cell? Whatever, just stay out of trouble or I'll call the snakes after you. Alright, man. Lazy log guards. Relying on other things to do your dirty work. Prisoners aren't allowed past this door. Leave now or be forced to make you leave. Alright, I'll leave. This job sucks. I'm tired of watching over these pathetic weaklings. It beats working anywhere else in the city, though. At least here we can run the place however we please. Alright. Bloody jerks. These guards are nothing but a bunch of cowards. Jerks. It must be nice to be able to walk around, do it as you please. You better watch your back if I ever get out of this cell. I don't belong in here. I didn't do anything to deserve being in this place. Please get me out of here. <laughs> Go away, new meat. You stay in there, old meat. This door's locked tight, but there's no occupants. Probably a previous occupant, though. Alright. Cafeteria it is, then. And... You want something? Talk to the lady. She might have a use for you. Alright. <laughs> hey. You have a guy Vanny was bragging about throwing in a clink at you. You don't look like much to me. I'm a batter. I've come to purify this district of its guardian. <laughs> guardian? You mean the warden? Yeah, good luck with that one, buddy. We've been trying to find a way to kill that blank for years now. He's got this place locked down, though. Keep all the good weapons out of our hands and in the midst of his guards. He's no guard anyway, just another monster trying to wear human skin, you know. It doesn't matter what he is. I need to recover my equipment and finish my mission. Whatever, slick. Look, maybe you could be of some use to us, since you're so eager to get in there and kill the old snake. <laughs> my name isn't Snake. Slick. Don't interrupt me, Slick. Head over to the western side of a prison. You'll find the old medicinal ward there. Look for the director's office and grab whatever is inside. Keys, tickets, that sort of thing. I ain't sending anyone else in there after the last trip, so you'll have to do the legwork. Think of it as an in intuition of sorts. So you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Got it? Good. Now get to it. Come back when you're done or not after <laughs> I'm fine with either outcome. Okay. Fine then. Get on somewhere, new meat. I don't have time for a scrawny man like you. Blasted servants need to take care of soon. Need to be taken care of soon. Now what about you? We're getting lunch ready at the moment. Come back later. Alright, alright. This notice reads, Clean up your messes. Failures comply will result in a week in the white room. Goodness sakes, is that where we want to go if we want our own path through this game? So the west side, you say? So that was definitely the east side, but now we want to go to the west side and hopefully there'll be a medical room or medicinal room. A something room. Hello there. I take you talked with a lady. Well, if you want to get yourself killed, go for it, pal. Good luck. You'll need it. We'll go there then. Hi. There are some crosses on the wall. Jiraja doesn't like this place. It feels very, very bad. This one's going to stay behind. Be careful, baseball man. Alright, man. You don't like to go on the other side, then. Hmm. Yeah, this is real bad. I don't have anything on me. Equipment. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Nothing at all in there. We leveled up a lot. The door won't open. The door won't open. Something in here. There's no, nothing important inside this cabinet. Hmm. This prison sure is lively, isn't it? We may have been actually been transported to the prison island. 
I think something is watching us. We should look for whatever it was inside this chest somewhere else. Yeah, that's a good thing. That might have been our equipment in there. Let's leave this place and go elsewhere. What the hell, man? There's nothing there. There's something there we should move on. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh. Hi there. Don't you peek your head out of a corner. There's definitely something there. Don't you dare try and trick me. When you when I can't be tricked at all. I am untrickable. Mm. These are unable to be used, I imagine. Yeah, it's offline until we get our equipment back, I imagine. It doesn't notice the purifier unless the purifier has his equipment. <laughs> We're called Slick, not the Bat. <laughs> Goodness sakes. The lady is definitely big. Um, okay, so there's two lit here. Hmm, what does that mean? Of all things, but all won't open. That's just lovely. And I imagine we'll go to the opposite side and we'll find something similar. But just not there. Fine then. This door won't open. What about this one up here? Nothing there, okay. Interesting, interesting. What about this way then? And there's something on the floor there. That's probably bad. There's a corpse here. Okay, so it's... Hmm... The door's locked and requires a key card. You don't have a key card on you, dear sir, do you? No? Okay. Uh, this notice reads, Report all new findings to the director as soon as possible. Whom might be the director of this place? I would like to know about him and see what it is I can do to get myself out of this hellhole of a prison. There you go, another set of passwords here. So I wonder why we're given these. So on the very top one, it's got both of them on the left side whitened up. And now here, it's the second and third one that's whitened up. So what on earth is going on here? And why is it giving me these clues? Now I went through the same area and now that is a thing. Okay, so... A corresponding room equals a corresponding block press. Okay, that is... Oh, I think we need to do opposites, actually. Yeah, we need to do opposites. So, if we press these two, then these two should be activated? Yeah, they're both activated. But the door won't open still. Hmm. I wonder why. What is it that we need to do from here on out? Because we pressed these. Go up here then. Still nothing. Door won't open. Door won't open. Go over here. Hmm. Nothing important in there. Nothing there. We should move on. Out of options of what we need to do. Please remain seated until you're called in. Try not to panic if you see blood, vomit, or ectoplasmic remnants. I'm glad of the last part, ectoplasmic remnants. Okay, it doesn't have any kind of effect at all up here. I think we need something else. Something else that's not within this ward. Okay, we'll come back to this at another point, folks. But these are getting very, very interesting. And I'm sure if we're able to know what it is that we need to do in the next time around, it'll be even more interesting to see where this goes off. Thank you so much for watching, guys. When we finish, finish this prison district, I imagine that it's going to give us another set, another set of memories in order to collect. But we've got ourselves... Supreme Ariel, Supreme Mage. Oh, I forgot to get the other one. 
I forgot to get the other one, which is right in Gaius's um, boss room. Oh, do better next time, or when we get out of here. Thank you so much for watching, and see you all in the next time, of. Sincere deceit. Have a lovely day, and take care of yourselves.